Beneath the crust, below the mantle, and underneath the molten core is the hot, dense, solid inner core of our planet. And scientists now believe it rotates, and it even changes direction every 60 years or so, a planet within the planet. There's a very strong magnetic field down there. It's pressure and gravity and the magnetic field that all have to balance. We can't drill straight down to the Earth's center. It's around 3,000 kilometers through the mantle just to the outer core. But scientists at Peking University in China found that seismic waves from earthquakes showed the Earth's core rotating, but also slowing down, and that it stopped just over 10 years ago and appears to be picking up speed, rotating now in the other direction. So what could that mean for the magnetic forces in and around the Earth? There's a powerful but delicate balance among the magnetic forces of the Sun, the Earth, and our planet's inaccessible interior. A magnetic field protects us from the Sun's radiation. We see the interaction of the solar wind and our magnetic fields in the northern lights. The study's authors suggest the core rotation fits with the 60 to 70 year patterns on the Earth's surface. Shifting sea levels, global mean temperatures, potentially tiny changes to the length of the day, an ebb and flow between the inner Earth and the surface. It will fall to the ground. We've long tried to understand the forces beneath in us. Other words, it will fall in this direction toward the center of the Earth. And when Hollywood heard about it... The core of the Earth has stopped spinning. Well, you can guess how that turns out. Microwaves will literally cook our planet. Without its internal convection, Mars lost its magnetic field, its heat, and went cold. That is not happening here. But if we can predict the subtle shifts down below, we could ultimately prepare for the effects up above. Though John Vidali says much of the science remains speculative. These mineral physics people need to explore what happens at a boundary between liquid iron and, and solid iron. Um, so a whole range of possibilities of things that might be happening. It will take time and new modeling to better understand what's happening. What can be said, now that we've discovered that the Earth's core changes directions at regular intervals, is that apparently that's a good thing. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.